Welcome back, class. And in this module, we're going to talk about compost benefits to soil structure, which are many. Soil structure is very important, especially when we're gardening. If you took our home gardening certificate course, we have a module dedicated just to soil. Soil structure is defined as the grouping and binding of different soil components into aggregates of different sizes and shapes. So soil, if you'll remember, is composed of clay, loam, sand, and silt. And when you add our compost into that mix, you end up with a soil aggregate. That's what this large particle is. The size and shape of our aggregates give soil its characteristic soil structure. So when you grab a handful of soil and you kind of run it through your fingers, you feel that there are large particles, there are small particles, there's some that feel almost like dust. That's soil aggregation. Soil structure influences plant growth by affecting the movement of water, such as in this diagram, air and nutrients to plants through their root systems. So the spaces in between our soil particles or aggregates facilitate the movement of these materials to where the plants can use them. The amount of soil pores and the pore size determine the drainage capacity of the soil as well. So if you notice after a rainstorm how quickly the water drains away, the larger the particles or the aggregate, generally the quicker the soil will dry out. The smaller the particle size, the longer it takes for that soil to percolate and penetrate down to the ground level. So how does compost affect our soil aggregation? Well, soil is a living material and full of many living organisms that we're going to cover in a future, future module. Soil is full of a lot of fungus, or fungi, and those organisms form what are called hyphae. And they grow on the compost and bind the soil particles together to help form these aggregates. So they need that compost, that organic matter, as a growing substrate that helps kind of glue and bind the soil together. How does compost affect this? Well, when worms, remember, we talked about vermicomposting, when worms feed on the organic compost, they ingest soil particles along with everything else, the organic matter in your compost pile, that they are trying to digest. Intestinal microorganisms inside the digestive system of the worm actually produce glues that bind those particles together as they come out as worm castings or worm poop. So the worms themselves are gluing a lot of particles together as they digest your compost pile. Humic and fulvic acids are another byproduct of this process. As natural products break down, they are produced from that decay of plant and animal materials. In the presence of some minerals, including iron, silica, and calcium, a humate salt is formed. And that's actually electrostatically binding soil particles together, almost like a magnet would work. These are the most stable aggregates. They tend to stay together for a very long time because of those bonds. 